this is fun. I get to ride the legendary Nomad Sweden Tenere 700. Wow, the rally seat feels really comfy. What the Tenere seat? And actually, the seating position is much better because the you are raised up on the bike. So even the handlebar seems like it's in a better position for my myself with the rally seat. Wow, this is wonderful. I feel like uh, this is much better than the stock Tenere. The rally seat fixes a lot of the issues that I have with the ergonomy on this bike. But it is really tall, so that is a negative with the rally seat. Wow, it feels so weird to ride this Tenere again. It's been a long time since I rode it. Feels very stable and going direct, but it still feels a little strange, really heavy. <laughs> you can definitely feel that you're riding a Tenere even after the Touareg 660. When you do try to turn the bike, it feels like a heavy lump of steel. But the DMD tablet is definitely something I have to get for the Honda. It's a fantastic screen and you can see so much from it. <laughs> There's a lot of power on this on this beast. Well, it's wonderful to I can finally say that I have ridden this like legendary legendary bike. I have to check the how much has he ridden this bike. Let's see the odometer. Where is it? Yeah, 82,000 kilometers. And it's still going strong like a new bike. Woo! <laughs> That's a lot of power. But these tires feel a little bit more slippery than my tires on the Honda. For some reason, I don't know. I don't know. The front wheels are. Maybe the tire pressures are also higher. That could be the could be the thing. The only thing I don't like about the rally tower is it's in the way of the camera. I don't know how much you can see in front of you. In front of me, basically. <laughs> uh, the tower is so big. Yeah, but as you can see, the weather here in Oduro has been perfect. <laughs> a little wet but it's so much fun I'm soaked everything is wet everything all throughout my uh, toes and everything it's like I've been swimming but it's so much fun it nonetheless <laughs> oh yeah the tenor position feels so good with the rally seat it's fantastic but I don't find the ground very easily <laughs> with my stubby legs <laughs> oh yeah, but it's fun. It's an awesome bike. I still love the Tenere. Even though I, I do think the Touareg is a better bike objectively. But this is still so much fun. This is a hooligan machine. I've said it before and I will say it, say it again. <laughs> it's a fun bike. Definitely fun. Oh yeah. You have to love the Tenere. You just have to. It's a wonderful bike. <laughs> if I could own all the bikes in the world, Tenere would be there with many others, definitely. But Tenere would absolutely be there. <laughs> the power is just, fuck, it's just fantastic. I almost swore, used an ugly word that I have to bleep, but woo, so much fun. This is an absolute beast of a machine. <laughs> <laughs> Runa is driving in front of me and we are done now the scout adventure scavenger hunt is now over and we're gonna prepare for lunch I have no idea where we're supposed to go maybe straight follow Robert he knows what's up my boot is full of water <laughs> Oh yeah, two Tenere's ripping it. What's better than that? I don't think of anything. 
I can't believe that the position sitting here is so good. If, is there razors here or something? I don't know. Is it only the seat? Because I feel fantastic sitting here. It's maybe it's only the seat. Like absolutely perfect riding position now. It could be the seat. I'm just sitting so high. So I have an easier time reaching the, the bar. It's not so high. So I don't know. But I feel good. I feel awesome riding here. <laughs> just wonderful. Wonderful. And you can't deny the sound of the Tenere CP2 engine. That's the best sound on the ADV market on any bike. I still stand by that. It's uh, this rumble, this deep rumble, aggressive, aggressive rumble on this CP2 engine. Especially after you change the pipe to something uh, aftermarket. It's just wonderful, the sound. Absolutely perfect. I wouldn't change a thing on that. Oh, yes. I feel a little warm in my pants when I hear a Tenere go by. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. I don't know, maybe I should buy a Tenere back again. <laughs> Do a project. I love the levers that Robert has here. Some short levers. They feel really good. I feel like he has to have a light clutch package on this. Maybe he has the Camel ADV clutch because this feels a lot lighter than the ta standard Tenere clutch. <laughs> oh yeah. The suspension feels pretty much what I expect from a Tenere. I don't feel like there's a lot being done to the suspension maybe he has changed the springs I can't remember really but he has a steering damper here but here in this road I don't really feel it that much but maybe if you do harder riding off-road higher speeds you start to feel the steering damper but here I don't really notice much <laughs> Oh yeah, oh I can never get bored of a Tenere 700, it's just a fantastic machine. All in all this is a great bike, it has to be, it, it, is, it is a living legend on the ADV market, definitely is that. And the fan base for these bikes is definitely there for a reason. <laughs> it has just enough power to not be crazy on loose surfaces, but enough to be seriously fun. So you have to applaud Aprilia for this engine. It is a great creation. It's really slippery here, as you can see from Runa <laughs> riding in front of me. I have to be a little bit careful. I, I don't want to drop, Robert, drop Robert's bike would be not a good thing <laughs> but yeah the clutch feels really nice on this one it's still a little stiff but it's definitely better than a standard bike at least that's what I feel I could be imagining it maybe but it feels a little lighter maybe not as light as the Torex 660 but very I think it's not bad it's not definitely not bad with two fingers I can do this all day I, I feel like he has to has a, have a, some kind of clutch package on this one because otherwise that wouldn't be that that light. I love the controller. I have to have this tablet system myself. So good, so good. All right, but that's it for the testing the Nomad Sweden legendary Tenere 700. It feels better than the standard bike, even though it has done 82,000 kilometers. It feels much better. It we feels a little tighter and all the changes with the seat and everything. The bike feels absolutely brilliant, brilliant. This feels better ergonomically than my own bike did. 
Maybe the problem was that I was always changing the, the low seat and the standard seat. I should have went with the high seat and get the riding position better. It, this definitely feels better. This feels really nice. Yeah, but that's it. I'm not ramble, gonna ramble anymore. It is what it is. It's a legend. It's a legend. Thank you, Robert, for letting me try this bike. <laughs> That's Robert on my CRF 300. I wonder if he's making a video about it. <laughs> no idea. But yeah, this Tenere feels fantastic. Let's see what Robert feels about the Honda CRF. I don't think he has ridden the tuned bike before. Maybe the stock bike, but it's completely different to my bike. So, it's interesting to hear his comments on the little Honda. Okay, how do you feel? It's uh, small and playful. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is, yeah. yeah. Oh, have you ridden the stock bike? Um, only the stock 250. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It must be totally different to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B I mean, it's a little bit more power and upgraded with suspension yeah. and everything. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Fun little... But I have to say that I... I absolutely love this Tenere. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Have you done anything to the bar? Um, no, only tilted it forward a bit. Yeah, but it has to be the seat. Because yeah, I'm because sitting taller, yeah. the bar is in a better position. I feel much better on this Tenere than I ever felt with and my you own. And you, you can scoot forward much exactly. more. Yeah. Yeah. So... The seat kind of fixes the problem that I have with my upper body in the Tenere 700. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm stumped. <laughs> like I had the standard seat and I had the low seat and it never felt very good for no. me. I felt always like reaching up and very Okay, forward. but this was nice then. Yeah, I, I guess I can sit more forward with this yeah, seat. Yeah, you, you can. So the bar comes much closer yeah. and I feel like at home, I'm, I, it's fantastic. Yeah. So back to T7 then. <laughs> God, <laughs> it's, it's a possibility actually. It's so completely different. I can't believe it. Absolutely, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted is the word, I yeah. guess. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice feeling on this bike and yeah, did some with the suspension and... and uh, you have a harder springs and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it feels good, feels really nice. Yeah. I could ride it easily. Ah, same as you. No, but you look dry. My boots are <laughs> like here, the water level. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the water is up to here. Yeah, in the it boots. is somewhere there. 